I never want a gentleman to a stage where an opponent might have a bigger event than you. And like case in point, like a character like DK, he really benefits from being able to go on stage because he kind of have access to like what I would like to call ghetto ding dong. Oh, that's right. Jump yeah. City plays Palo now. Yeah, and then he Jump City plays Palatina. He still plays Zero Satanus. It, it's just he does better with Palatina than Zero Satanus. Very, very matchup dependent at times, and sometimes his ESS will be better than Palo. Sometimes he's better than CSS. Kind of changes up here and there. The big, the big thing to, for him is honestly comfort. But this is like a matchup that I feel that like Zero Suit Samus does way better than she. She does everything Falcon does, but better. Like in my opinion, but that was more Smash Bros. This game is a little bit. Better. And so wait, in what? In what ways? These characters seem very different to me. No, um, Zero Suit Samus. I would say. Oh, she does, I she see. does. She does better. She does basically the same thing as, as Falcon does. Like she has, a, she has a backer that she can use. She has an upper that juggles. She has. Um, her down smash is more of a paralyzer, right? Her dash grab is pretty solid if you can get it right. Her up smash is pretty ridiculous. Both characters have a ridiculous up smash in terms of range. Um, both of them have up Bs that kill. They're very, very similar in terms of like uh, punishing with a punish game as well. So like, you have to really respect that. Wait, Palo's up B kills? No, I'm talking about Zero Suit Samus still. I know we're seeing Palutena. Oh, so okay. Okay, okay. that's I'm, why I'm so confused. Yeah. This is more of a comfort for, for Jim City. I'm surprised he's not, I'm saying I'm surprised he's actually not going to Zero Suit over Palutena. Down tilt, that'll take him off the stage. I was gonna say, the last hit of Nair is gonna put him off in a rough spot. Another hit, oh, that stops yeah. it and just over, man. There's just nothing you can do there as uh, Falcon. That Nair just covers so much space. Like, even if you drift it back. Yeah. Okay, that was good there. Roots just managed to sneak in that Nair to beat out Palo's Nair. He's, he's getting these trades, which would be good if he wasn't. Actually, he's not that far behind, but... Well, it kind of reverse the roles, too, because the one thing that Falcon does kind of suffer is a linear recovery plan, right? He's only got the up B, the side B, and he either has to go really low or have to execute it really high. So for Gem City to have this kind of, like, turnover against him is pretty good. Especially with how dominant Roots start off. Down throw, this is going to be a raw back air, and then the firm there. It looks like Roots wanted to DI. I don't know, I feel like he held the DI wrong. I feel like he could have escaped it, but unfortunately he didn't have the right DI. Like, I mean, DIing that he didn't DI it far enough out. Uh, so you you can either choose to DI some combos in or out. If you, I think down throw wire bear, you have to DI it out, out and away. But it looks like Roots might have not even DI'd at all, or probably DI'd in, in like a in fear of like trying to come back on the stage. Yeah, that's that's possible. I mean, that, I, that's yeah. why sometimes you see players go for down throw wire back at the ledge because most most opponents they'll be fearful of being off stage, especially against Valentina. With things like near, back air, down air, well, a plethora of moves, man. Especially with a character like Falcon, where your new moves off stage are already so limited, you want as much space to work with as possible. Yeah. Oh. oh. No, he's good. He's good. He's good. The, uh, the ra there wasn't enough. Palo still has like an early percentage. The higher percent you are, the the more the spike hitbox will actually. Be okay, That's we'll a read. That was a really good read on the platform. Okay, we have to bring this back. That's. Jump City's good if he's able to come back on the stage here, take center stage, but using the... No, he's good, he's good. It'll kill now, though. He has to be careful by not getting caught by that, and that's oh, going to be a really good slip-up. Oh, he's actually going to kill him with the side <laughs> Yo, man, the whole crowd was actually cheering against Jump City, like, yo, man, he's out, and then Jump's just like... Oh, <laughs> I was telling him I'm surprised he's not going to ZSS, but that's, that's a... The man chooses how to live his life. I can't believe he just side beat out of. Well, the reason why is because at the ledge, most of your opponents go for edge guards. Right. So, like Falcon in this case, he'll go for jab, back air, down air, down tilt, up smash. Right, he's staying specifically at the ledge for jump steady. Oh man, the sweat of the hoodie is off. <laughs> um, for jump steady, he's going to go for that because his opponent has to stay around the ledge. Sometimes it's much better to try to whiff punish your opponent and make sure they feel safer coming. Oh, okay, both of the sweaters are coming off. Sorry. It's it's better to try to fake out your opponent by going for like an empty hop, a dash back, things like that. Even though we don't have, that's why perfect pivoting was a really fun mechanic back in Super Smash Bros. for you, because it allowed you to kind of space yourself just enough away from the ledge to actually punish your opponent. So, but because Roots had had a hard commitment there being at the ledge, uh, Jump City was pretty much able to go for explosive flame, and he caught Roots off guard. If Roots would have held shield and then made it, maybe gone for like an out of shield option, like maybe dare. But that would have been a different option there that happened. But nonetheless, Jump City will come back from a deficit from the last game and bring it up one.
Yeah, and Jumpstead is getting so much off of catching roots overextending here. Is that it's huge? over. It's he over. He just got the stock there. Yeah, I mean, yeah. roots had such a great string there with the tri uh, triple nair into the up air. And then he went a little too deep off stage. And then Jumpstead, he just turned it around on him. Yeah. But, and Palutena can just do that to you. Her hitboxes in the air are so big. Yeah. Like, you may just never land against this character. That's why I tell people, like, if you, the, the tough thing about Palutena, too, is she just, not only does she corner carry you, but she also dominates the aerial game, and she kind of forces you to pick the ledge recovery, in which she can slowly start to dominate. So she definitely runs a player with, if your character has real poor disadvantage, Palutena just wins you over that easily. She's got up air, near, back air, forward air. All those moves are all pretty great. I'd say probably the worst move is like maybe one of her tilts, like I don't know, four tilt maybe. It's probably pretty oh, bad. Oh, he it. got the footstool there. Nice, to good empty hop, and that's kind of a good fake up because Gem City had forced roots to respect back air with how he saw the last time. You know, you know who else should have respected back air? Dark Wizzy. I don't know where that kid was walking into back airs, but Amaro. Nah, man, Palo broken. Nah, dude, dude, sorry, that kid, that kid was fishing for up smash all day Roots long. has gotten that up the so many times root jump city is just afraid excuse me afraid of the uh, and he just pulled shield that ledge yeah because you kind of have to respect it to at higher percents like falcon will definitely take that time, yeah yep. uh, the upbeat killing like the, the falcon upper upper upbeat is actually very reminiscent of his 64 iteration where he was actually able to do that back in super smash with him 64. yeah i'm talking about more as he gets uh uh, Jump City will do a normal get up and then just shield, and then Roots is all over it. He just runs up and up easy. Mm -hmm. um, it's usually what happens too because, like, Falcon dash grab. I think, well, dash grab isn't that good in this game. The Falcon grab, like, he'll, he'll up throw you, he'll down throw you, so he has, like, options, right? So Jump City's kind of like, I don't want to get grabbed, but at the same time, like, you're holding shield, and Falcon's like, oh, there's a free grab. Oh, yeah, I mean, you think you're at a percent where, you know, he can't get anything on grab, but if he up you, you should just die. Mm hmm. Sick, uh, spike. But oh, Roots is yep. gonna die in the most anticlimactic way. It happens, dude. Sometimes, uh, dude, there's ridges on the edge of that stage.